Hi, welcome to Understanding Conscious Cryptids with me, Kat Hansen, your host. everyone it's me Kat I thought today's lesson would be about portals and a little bit about how they work I get quite a few messages you know asking me about these things so I'm gonna try to explain it as well as I can a portal is a round opening of light that um, offers divine protection um, angels and other heavenly beings travel to and fro in them without demonic interference um, Heavenly Father is the one who designed the portals to begin in the third heaven, travel through the second heaven, and open up in and on the earth. Okay, I know that sounds kind of confusing, but if you stop to remember what I told you in the beginning, that he created all things. The Bible says he created all the peoples in and on the earth. So that's where the conscious cryptids come in. Okay, so these portals are able to open up in and on the earth. Okay, um, they're areas of high energy concentration. Okay, um, they, I guess you could say that it originates from magnetic, spiritual, or sometimes other sources, you know, like we don't really know. Um, I was always taught, though, that it, for me, predominantly to find them, um, they are magnetic. Okay. Um, they're considered to be gateways, you know, portals to other realms, both in the spiritual realm and here on the earth and in this dimension and in other dimensions. Um, there's quite a few portals, you know, all over the United States. And by that, I mean seriously. Um, I think just about every state has them. Even if people don't know about them, they are there, okay? Um they travel two ways, the energy in them, you know, from the lace. Um, they can either be upward flowing or inward flowing, okay? And if they're upward flowing, that means that it's going out of the earth, okay? And if it's inward flowing, that means it goes towards the earth. So logically, that means that an upward one is taking you away from the earth, okay? And an inward one would be taking you towards the in inner dimensions of the earth or inner realms okay um, por these portals sometimes are, um, people call them positive or negative and that's dependent upon which way they're flowing you know it just depends on you and what all you need um, and they're not that hard to find when you're searching them out you know if you if you know what to look for um, you can find them because as I said one is flowing inward one's flowing outward the ones flowing inward towards the earth I notice tend to be a dark gray or a black color and that doesn't mean that they're evil it just means that that's the color that they are okay um, if they're going away from the earth they're usually white hmm sometimes pinky sometimes pinky yellow does that make sense I hope it does because that's the color I see um, there's one major system of vortexes though that nobody even thinks about okay and that's because it's not really here on this planet, but it affects every single person, every single living thing on this planet. And, you know, these portals just affect everybody. They influence every single thing on this planet. And those vortexes are on the sun, okay? Um, people know them as sunspots. Now, the internal structure underneath the surface of the sunspots show that there is a powerful downdraft below each sunspot, okay? That means that it's it's pulling it down okay it's forming a, a vortex and that vortex is rate is rotating okay it concentrates and then it warps the magnetic field lines and then surprise it gets near you know it gets to the build-up point um, it flares up and it heats all that stuff that's in them to like a million bajillion degrees in seconds and that causes them to eject well I guess what we call a coronal mass ejection yeah that's my big word for the day I just grew up knowing them in science classes CMEs okay and these guys 
are really, really powerful, okay? They just, like, nuke blast billions of tons of ionized gas out into space. Millions of miles an hour, okay? It's, it just goes off in like, these little packages. And if it goes off at the right spot on the sun, so it can intercept and be bombarded on, to the Earth, it can. And it does set off geomagnetic storms here that also influence us you know, and other living organisms. These guys also are not nice in that they cause damage to satellites in space and they also shut down electrical power and our power grids. Oh joy, no hair dryer. So, it's kind of up there, you know, people don't really like to talk about this. Science doesn't want to talk about this because they're not 110% sure. You know how science is. If they can't see it, touch it, feel it, taste it, and they have a massive issue with it, okay? But I was always taught that this is the way that they are. You know, people for hundreds of thousands of years have been able to see the coronal mass ejections from the sun, the big sunspots. You know, we see them. We see the storms. You know, we've known forever and ever and ever how they affect the earth. Okay, well, that's just, say that's just the outside of the earth where we can see it. Okay, the inside is a whole other ball of wax. Okay, and that's another thing that we as scientists and human scientists on this earth, we don't totally understand about the center of our planet. So, we're learning still, okay? But basically, we have an underlying grid that lies over this entire ball that we live on, okay? These lines... You know, I always just look at them as, as a grid, you know, like your grid paper that you had in school. And that's what I take them as. And that's my best way to, to describe them. And one of the, when one of these CMEs, you know, these big explosions hits out into space, it hits our atmosphere, and then it causes portals to be open all over the Earth. You know, and those, when those happen, those are unexpected, okay? Those are the ones that people call me up and say, I don't know what the heck that just happened, but I saw something come out of midair right in front of me, and now it's gone, and I have no idea what that was. Help, please, I'm not going insane. And I have to tell them, no, you're not going insane. I have many pictures, many, many pictures of these guys, you know, my visitors that come to visit with me, and they come through the realms, and that's how you get here. You know, you have to be able to travel interdimensionally. And to travel interdimensionally, you have to have a portal. That's just the way it is. You have to have a tool um, capable of manipulating those magnetic ley lines that are in our Earth to get the door open. You know, think of it as a combination lock, okay? And when the CME hits, we're not prepared for a CME. The Earth isn't. It's been programmed one way. Well, the CME hits, and all of a sudden, it's unlocking a door in a different section of the world that's never been unlocked or isn't supposed to be unlocked. You know, so now we've got things that have been in there coming out into this realm. Okay, now this is going to open up everybody saying to me, well, Kat, wait a second, you just said it's for angelic beings. I did say it's for angelic beings to travel through, and I did say it's for heavenly beings to travel through. But guess what, people? They also are used by other dimensions. Yep, don't tell me that as a kid you never got into the elevator that you weren't supposed to get into. These guys do it all the time. They want to come here. They look for one that's opening, and it doesn't always have to open on the time that they want it to open on. You know, they'll take whatever they can get because they're sneaking out. They're coming here. Okay, then there's other ones where they do know what time it works, you know, and they come through at that time. Now, just because they are not angelic or heavenly beings doesn't mean that that's correct in our sense either. Because who are we to say what's a heavenly being? We don't. We don't know what they look like, what their attitude is like, you know, who Heavenly Father created them to be like. You know, we just don't know. So, when you're out and about wandering out there in the woods... I want you guys, you know, to be extra careful because in this time right now, we're kind of going through a tipsy-turvy phase here where we've got a lot of CMEs 
um, a lot of sunspots, you know, going on. And there are some massive portals that have opened up on the sun. And if you don't believe me, all you got to do is go to NASA and take a look at the sun. You're going to see these huge portals that have opened, big squares. Squares, for goodness sakes, that doesn't work, you know. I mean, seriously, a rectangle? No, that doesn't occur naturally. You know, these are portals, you know, to slingshot through to other dimensions. And in fact, this is how Nibiru will come through. You know, it'll slingshot through that. People don't understand, and I don't expect to sit here and have a whole uh, physics lesson over it, but that's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to slingshot through that portal. And people need to understand coming from one dimension, where it's a little bit smaller, through that opening, into our dimension where it can expand. And voila, it's big again. So. I just wanted everyone to understand that this is what I was talking about, okay? Um, you can always watch for the portals. You know, you'll see a flash of light. I've, I've posted many, many, many pictures up of them. I've also put up uh, videos of them, you know, being opened with sound and vibration because that's what you have to use with the magnetics. You have to be able to use the magnetic frequency. Frequency is everything in this world and in this universe. People don't understand that, but that's the truth. Every single thing on this planet, on this realm, on this in this universe, galaxy, is all about vibrational frequency. Okay? We match the Earth. The Earth is out of tune right now. She's going higher, higher, higher. So what does that mean for us? That means we either have to shift and get our bodies shifted higher, or we're going to be left behind. And that's what's happening with the portals. The chances for opening are higher and higher and higher. Every day they're accelerating more and more. And so you're going to start seeing really crazy numbers of things coming through those portals, you know. And you're going to hear about crazy weather, crazy people, crazy beings, you know, that we just don't expect, you know. Things that are going to be shifting into our dimension. And it's going to be a strange one, you know. But I want people to be prepared for that. When you're out in the woods... Hear that hum? Stay away from that. Your teeth start to rattle. Literally, they start to rattle inside your head. You know, stay away from that. Your bones, you start shaking really bad. Um, it feels like, you know, like you're just the most terrified you've ever been in your life. Stay away. There's a portal nearby. You know, if you're not what, ready yet to make that commitment to stepping into that portal and facing whatever's in there, then my suggestion is leave it alone. I That's what I tell my kids all the time. Leave it alone. I offer the knowledge to those who want it. But if you don't want it, then don't take it. Because it is a heavy price. You know, I have to be answerable to who I give it to. And I am. That's why I only give out little bits and pieces. Enough to keep people safe. And to let you guys know what's going on. So, from my reality to your reality to our reality. It's just me, Kat, saying I hope you all stay safe and sound out there. Please watch out for each other. And if you have any questions, you know where you can reach me. I'm always here. If you like the videos, please like them and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And if you know anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, just point them my direction. Bye, everybody.